probably notice or will notice that the readings now uh, as we approach the end of our liturgical year are talking about the end of life, the end of time, the end of the world, and being ready for God at any moment. And so soon, of course, we'll celebrate our great feast day, Christ the King. And that in the meantime, we'll continue to hear these readings and then we'll begin a new uh, liturgical year, as you know, in Advent. But as we prepare ourselves for these day, final days of our liturgical year, and also it's the month of November, we think about our deceased relatives and friends. We think about, um, we think, and we visit cemeteries. It's all kind of about remembering what we hear on uh, Ash Wednesday. Remember that you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. Repent and believe in the gospel. So all of these readings now are preparing us for uh, getting ready to celebrate the end of our liturgical year. So as we keep that in mind, we hear about the book, we hear from the book of wisdom. God's wisdom is priceless. God's wisdom is a gift to us. It's a, it is given to us by grace, by God's grace, and it, it is emboldened, if that is a word, I guess, within us by the power of the Holy Spirit. We have become strong in faith. We become strong in wisdom. We're not talking about book learning here necessarily, though we have to have some, a lot of knowledge, of course, but we're talking about God's grace. How do we receive God's grace? You know, we don't have to think about the end of our life all the time. Let's think about the end of our day when we go to bed, when we look, past, when we look over our day and say, God, what, how did I use the gifts that you gave me today? Was I kind to people? Did I brush people off? Did I help the poor, the sick, the suffering? Whatever it might be, you know, we look towards the end of our day and we say, how have we used the wisdom that God has given us to love one another and to serve one another? In our second reading today from St. Paul, we hear about, of course, the end of people's lives, that we are aware that God gives us, at the very moment of baptism, a very special grace to be his disciple and his apostles. And we are called to follow that path with Jesus, follow, leading us every day of our life. And when we don't, we call it sin, but then we receive God's divine mercy and forgiveness especially through the sacrament of penance and reconciliation. So Jesus died and rose for us so that our sins can be forgiven, so that we can follow the path of Jesus Christ, which leads to not only the salvation, our salvation, but the salvation of the world. And then finally in the gospel today, we hear about the, the virgins and the five who were ready to meet the bridegroom and the five who weren't. The bridegroom himself being, the, the bridegroom being Jesus himself. So it's not so much about getting ready for a wedding party, it's just getting ready for Jesus. Are we ready? Are we prepared? I know I don't think we need to be scrupulous about this. I hope it's a long way away for me because I have more time to get ready, right? Uh, there's a few more good meals to eat too, I hope. But be that as it may, you know, let's be prepared for the end of the day. Let's be prepared day by day to see the Lord in prayer, to understand that God gives us the gift of wisdom to use and, and get the gifts of the Spirit, to be willing to give of ourselves as a sacrificial offering to God.